Hey, LinkedIn leaders. Some of you know I'm an agricultural guy. And a couple posts ago, I posted what you tolerate is teaching people how to treat you. That post has gotten a lot of traction. Now, not many people comment on LinkedIn where everyone else can see, but I got a ton of DMs about that. And I think it was a new revelation for many people. So I wanted to use an illustration from some of the animals that we raise here. Because when you're tolerating certain behaviors and you're allowing certain people to do things in your life that maybe don't sit real well with you or you've interpreted differently, but you're not speaking that into existence, what you're doing is just conditioning them how to behave. But just as we put fences around the animals that we want to protect, the fences are there for two reasons. One is to keep the good things in, keep the animals where they're supposed to be, and two, to keep the bad things out. Because when we put fences around things, we also want to make sure that we define what is good and what is bad. Now, a leader with no boundaries is like a pasture with no fences. The good things can get out and the bad things can get in. When a leader doesn't establish their boundaries and say what they will tolerate and what they won't tolerate, or maybe what's not sitting well with them or what was offensive to them, or maybe even just saying a firm no to things that you don't want to do or that are not going to bring your best gift to the world. What you're doing is just allowing people to walk all over you. So the thing about fences is you can also have gates. And just like this gate, it can open and close. But the fence is still there. You get to decide what you want to open, what do you want to close. You get to decide what is it that you want to allow in and what do you want to keep out. But the good things need to stay in. And the bad things need to stay out. And the key to doing that is firm set of boundaries because what you tolerate is just teaching people how to treat you. Thanks for being here and thanks for showing up.